Hi everyone, hope you are well. Um, just going to do a quick video uh, today because I've had some goodies in the post. And I just wanted to uh, share them with you and um, share the first project that I'd uh, thought I'd do. So uh, this was the pack that I got off uh, a guy on Facebook, um, and it's just a craft package that he puts together, a mix of all different things, uh, just to do all bits and bobs with it. So I've got some really nice pieces of antler. Um, we've got some nice uh, walnut wood, uh, really for scales. There was another piece that I've left left in the house. Um, a piece of leather can make a, a strop with it, maybe on the piece of wood. Don't know. Um, and then just loads and loads of different pieces, mostly antler. Uh, different bits of it for making toggles, uh, making whistles, maybe just gonna have a look into it um, a, a bit like a, a wooden pen blank uh, maybe use this for a ferro rod maybe it'd be nice to possibly get some um, resin or epoxy epoxy resin in a different color to fill to fill in those gaps that'd be a nice that would need more looking into first though um, some pine resin these look like toggles but they may be ferro rod I think they're ferro rod toggles uh, some sinew uh, another ferro rod blank uh, some beeswax and then yeah and then that's it and then just loads of different different pieces of antler so uh, I've had a think I think a whistle is definitely on the cards uh, but the first thing I wanted to make was um, a ferro rod handle with a piece of the antler. Uh, I think I will use uh, this for another ferro rod handle. I don't think I'm going to use this one just because it looks it looks pretty basic. Um, it's taken all, all the work out of shaping, shaping the wood. I'd maybe only use this for maybe a bit of detailing, maybe some core rotting or some wood burning uh, patterns onto it. Uh, so I'm not too sure if I'll use, use that. Um, he did provide um, a blank ferro rod in the package as well. Uh, I've had a couple of goes at it and it's a really good rod so it's really nice so I'd like to put that in my pack. Um, so I thought I'd make a ferro rod today. So when I came to deciding what to do, uh, I did want to use a piece of antler. I think they look really nice uh, in antler. And th these were the three main pieces that I could use. Um, I've gone for this darker one. Uh, just because I think that one is a bit longer. I think I can do something else with this using the length that it's got. Uh, this might be uh, the, the blank for the whistle, uh, possibly, or something else. I didn't want to, it's got a lovely long handle um, on it, so it could even be, I don't know how I'd be able to do it, maybe even a knife handle. I think it might be a bit too narrow for that, but just the length and just the nice grip in the handle I think is a bit too big for uh, a ferro rod and I didn't want to start cutting it down just because of how nice a piece it is. Um, the other one could have used with this one, perfect length, um, nice diameter in it. The only problem with this one is I wasn't too keen on the curve side of it. It does feel nice in the hands uh, but as far as packing it down, having that curve in it just adds more space I guess. Um, so out of the two, I preferred this dark one. It's still got a nice length to it to be able to hold. It's got a good weight to it, nice diameter. Uh, so this was the one I went to. So as you can see, I've already started uh, drilling into it. I did a few practice pieces uh, with wood just to see if it was as simple as I thought it would be, and, uh, and it is. Um, the drill bit that I went for, um, I've gone for the same, I started off smaller and then I've gone for the same uh, diameter as the fer ferrocerium rod. Um, when I used this in the wood, the ferro rod went in very easily because it was a soft wood that I was using. So it just moved the wood out of the way. Uh, with this one, I've had a few test tries and it does seem to be harder to get it in. It's the right diameter, so with a few um, taps on the top, maybe with the hammer um, or, or with the mallet, mallet, it should be a very, very nice snug 
uh, fit. I will use some uh, Gorilla Glue or Epoxy Glue um, just to reinforce it so that there's no wiggle room. Uh, but it should. I want the mo I want the majority of the hole to be just by friction. Uh, so I'm going to carry on with this, and then I'm going to put the tap the ferro rod into it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I don't want it to be too deep because I don't want to lose too much of the arrow rod. So it's about that far in at the minute, um, which I think I think that'll be okay. I think that the length is. Uh, it's going to be okay. With the other ones that I have, I've not seen them in much deeper, much deeper than that. So I think that is going to be okay. So let's, uh, let's get it hammered in and we'll see how tightly, how snug it all is. So let's see where I'm going down to. So I'm just going to make a mark just so I know when to uh, stop or to keep on going. Just check, check, double check that. Yeah, that's about right. I'm just going to do this quite gently because I don't want it to uh, damage the rod at all. It's going in quite nicely, but it's snug. And that is all the way there. Let's see how. So I'm giving that a good tug. And that is not coming out. There's no there's no wiggle in there. There's no nothing. I don't even think I'll uh, need to put any glue in there. That's a very nice tight fig. I'm glad I was happy with it before I did put it in because I think I'm going to struggle to get that out. Um, probably be able to do it with some pliers if I need to, if there does start to be any wobble. But just trying it now, there isn't, there's nothing, there's no wobble and it doesn't. I'm really putting everything into that. And, and the, the mat, it's not moved from its mark. Uh, so let's just see how it gets on striking. Feels nice in the hand, feels controlled. Again, no wobbles. Yep, still intact, there's st still, still no movement, still no wobble. That's a very, very um, nice fit. So yeah, I think the only thing I would do uh, to this now is I'd maybe uh, just Use the belt sander to um, soften these edges, edges because they are a bit, a uh, bit sharp. If I'm bringing my uh, knuckle or if I'm trying to hold onto it with the fingers, it is a bit sharp uh, around the around the edges. So all I need to do is smooth that off, and then that's done. Nice and easy. Um, I'm happy with that. I, I think it's lovely. It's got a really nice weight to it. Uh, really sturdy. Um, piece. Yeah, lovely. Job well done. Very good. Right. See you guys later.